Two Australian journalists have now returned home from China after being embroiled in a five-day diplomatic standoff between Beijing and Australia. Now, Michael Smith of the Australian Financial Review and Bill Bertels from the public broadcaster ABC had sheltered in Australian diplomatic missions following raids on their homes. Before their departure, there were questions by Chinese authorities about the case of an Australian TV anchor working for Chinese state TV. It was feared they would be arrested as political pawns in the rapidly worsening relationship between the two countries. Smith and Bertels were the last two representatives of Australian mainstream media in China. And for more now, we are joined by Bill Bertels, one of the Australian journalists who left China. Welcome to the program, and thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you could just outline for us the events that led to you leaving China. Yeah, Sarah, thank you. Uh, this was a pretty unexpected situation, but uh, just as uh, I was preparing to break the story of the other of, of the detained Australian Chung Lei last Monday. Um, my bosses here in Sydney received a call from Australia's Foreign Affairs Department uh, saying we have good reason to think that I and another journalist in Shanghai need to get out quickly. And for the first couple of days, um, it's pretty hard to get flights with COVID. So while arrangements were being made, um, we were also questioning where this advice was coming from. You know, being journalists, we're pretty cynical and we want some details. But on Wednesday night, it became clear at midnight uh, when six state security police plus a translator turned up on my doorstep. The most curious thing was they weren't there to detain me. They were there to tell me that I'm involved in a national security case and therefore I'm not allowed to leave the country. But they said, you still have freedom of movement. You're still free to go around and do your do your whatever, your business. Uh, but they said, we will call you the next day. And we need to chat. And this sort of sparked a, a diplomatic uh, situation where, of course, I went to the Australian embassy and said, what's your advice? What do you think my rights are? And they said, we think you should stay here for your safety. And you, you mentioned that you were going to do some reporting on the case of Cheng Lei, um, that that's potentially why you've been targeted here. Um, we know that she has not been charged. She's being held under what is called uh, residential surveillance at a designated location, reportedly. Um, this is an anchor who was the face of Chinese state media's English service. She's an Australian citizen. What do you think happened here? Well, I'm not even 100% convinced that the uh, situation with myself and the other journalist in Shanghai, Mike Smith, is actually related to Chung Lei's case. That was the pretext uh, for police questioning us. They basically said, uh, we need to interrogate you in relation to Chung Lei's case, which they ultimately ended up doing uh, at the conclusion of this diplomatic standoff. The deal basically was um, the police will uh, interview me and then uh, the Chinese government will lift its exit ban. But having gone through that interview, uh, I'm not really convinced that uh, police thought that I or the other journalist would have any particularly useful information. It seems to me this is much more related to the broader problems in the China-Australia relationship and that perhaps uh, we were just pawns in a much bigger situation that's beyond our control. So do you think Australians are then being targeted now? Well, certainly, because the only two Australian media journalists left in Beijing were, in China were the only two who were targeted um, to be questioned about this case. And then when we were actually questioned, they weren't particularly rigorous in trying to extract answers around that case. Um, meanwhile, this particular uh, newsreader, Chang Lei, I do know her, but there are people, including Australians in China, who know her a lot better, but none of them are being hauled in and uh, interrogated. So... If anything, this looked like a concerted effort to target the Australian media in Beijing. Mm. And I'd say that is related more to the Australia-China relationship. And there are now no representatives of the Australian mainstream media in China. How problematic do you see this being, considering the close economic relationship that the two countries have? Well, the relationship is, uh, is awful to be honest, between Australia and China at the moment. It's probably the worst it has been in since they resumed ties back in the 1970s. 
um, it's not going to get any better any anytime soon because um, both sides are increasingly forming a view of each other that they can't. There's no trust, and I can't see a way to resolve it. Um, so in the meantime, yes, there won't be Australian journalists there. I think that does a great disservice uh, to Australian audiences, but also to China too. It doesn't do China any favours to uh, have you know less information, less exchange and less understanding of what's going on there. Bill Bertels, journalist, joining us to tell your story. We thank you so much for sharing that here on DW News. Thank you.